My name is Ruby Cox, and this is my grandson, Malik Kofi. The Birmingham Change Fund has done amazing things for the community uh, and for my grandson. They had never taken on a single person as a project, but they did. Uh, they didn't know what was going to become of it. They didn't even know exactly how they were going to do things, but it all came together and they worked as a team to help my grandson. You know, they, it's like they never took what he's doing for granted, but it was always like, they actually they treated him like he was a star, you know? And everything was done so professionally, so uh, top of the line. I mean, everything, everything. I love the concept of, of how the Birmingham Change Fund works. These are individuals who care passionately about the community and about making a difference in the community. But each individual person doesn't think of themselves as being able to be a philanthropist. Individually, they feel like they can't make an impact. So they come together and they pool their money and they research issues here in Birmingham and, and together decide how their pooled resources can make a difference. So they're involved with their time and their talents, but also their financial resources. And I love that they, that they demonstrate the power of coming together to make a change. It was a conversation. It started as a conversation. What are young African-Americans doing with their discretionary dollars and time and talent? And so out of that conversation came a clear opportunity for us to work together to impact Birmingham. So there's a difference between just doing it on your own and doing it with other people. In our experience, the smart money never does anything alone. They always do it together. You know, when we initially got started, I don't think any of us really knew anything about philanthropy in the traditional sense or the non-traditional uh, sense of the word. And so for us, initially, it was really just a large steep learning curve on what traditional philanthropy looked like as well as what non-traditional philanthropy is, which is what we consider ourselves uh, a part of as a given circle. I think that over the years as we've evolved, we had to really streamline our focus areas and really realize how did we want to be strategic and measure the impact that we wanted to make to the community. I think people think that what we're doing is really nice, and it is nice, but it's also essential that we are in the middle of a generational shift in wealth and social capital and resources. It's beautiful to sit in on the Birmingham Chain Fund meeting and watch the conversations and watch the back and forth. To me, that's the beauty of it. That's what I enjoy the most, is the openness of it. 